Speak plainly. Tell us who you are. Once, I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. This motherfucker made the Matrix. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes, and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. <laughs> I want no name or memory to live after me. I can read it, but the meaning isn't clear. It speaks of something hidden. It was the first achievement on the road to my greatest error. The one that condemned my people. Well, could you fucking elaborate a bit more on that? Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. The light bridges are magnificent. <laughs> you never dreamed that people could walk on light. You make the best bridges. Uh, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. <laughs> yeah, we liked we them too. Known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. <laughs> if you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. This motherfucker writes the best fortune cookies. The monster who captured me. Are there any more of them? That one did not evolve. It was made. Hmm. And there are as many of them as are needed. Of course. Of course. There's water everywhere in these islands. Waterfalls, pools, and the sea all around. We love the water. But now my <laughs> people live in an eternal desert. Neither drinking nor thirsting. If only they could thirst again, and then drink. <laughs> if only they could dive into the sea and hear the roaring of the waterfall. This guy. Love him. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. Why has your body been preserved so carefully? Since all the evil in this place was my fault, I chose to be its guardian forever. If what you did was bad, why did the museum displays give you so much honor? There was a time when my creations were thought to be good. I believed it myself, or I would never have created them. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. 
We want to go home. That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish. <laughs> you vain for bitch. there is no true home. All intelligence wanders and has no rest. The probe you sent out brought us here. We want to go back to our home planet. Another one of our terrible mistakes. We sent out those probes when we thought we had found the glorious secrets of the universe. We could not call them back. Thus, I remain here to warn all those who come in answer to an invitation we wish we had not sent. Warning us won't do any good unless we can get back home to Earth to tell other humans. There are two ways to protect your planet. One is if you return and warn them to stay away. The other is if you never return at all. Which warning do you think will be more effective? Tell us how to get back to Earth. <laughs> I beg you. If my people could return from space time six where they have gone, they would rebuild the starport. They would make a crystal ship which would take you back to your planet. But they will never find their way back home. <laughs> How much pot do you think this guy smoked? A lot, right? He's high as fuck right now. All right, we've we've exhausted all the questions. Thank you for helping us. Did he help us? Did he I tell us anything? You when you give up your foolish plan, we're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. And I'm dead again. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly. But I'm also pretty damn good. Oh, well, of course. All right. He smoked like seven Twixes before we brought him back. What the fuck are you doing, guy? Brink. Brink, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead, they probably have a good reason when they choose to bury somebody instead of reviving him. Now leave me alone. There are side effects to the life crystals, Brink. They change your personality. They seem to be making you crazy. Yes, the poor, ignorant fools who slog through the mud of inferior mental <laughs> functions. They look at brilliance and call it madness. All right, this guy's uh, about to. I don't have time to waste on foolish discussion of nothing. <laughs> Why do I bother talking to you? Is a waste of time. All right. What's this thing he's making? What kind of contraption has Brink made here? All right. Fuck this guy. Robbins. Can you, like, open this fucking thing? Come on, Robbins. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. I can see clearly now. Boston, it exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. Good, 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 good. Do the things. I just twist this. Uh-huh. Twist it, bop it, bang it. Okay. Oh God, we're doing it. Everything's so simple when you read the directions. Things you never hear if guys say. If we didn't say. know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. Would we?
Oh, your bits missed by a mile. Or did some get blown out? This island blown. was brought back from another dimension. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here's the thing. What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. <laughs> Duh. Get that shit, get that shit right now. Oh yeah. She can push me off? That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. Well, let's go put this shit together and find out. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. <laughs> you sure know how to make a girl feel good. Oh, uh, We better God. go find Brink again. Fuck that. In case these metal plates do the job. Fuck that. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. Fuck he him. scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart too. Let's go. God damn it. I do not want to go fuck with Brink. Brink's gonna fuck all this up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Earthquake. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe, can you hear me? <laughs> Get to the damn land! Frank, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Fuck this guy. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arch bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight, we're on our way. He's in the fucking crevice Hold now. Hold tight! Very funny! You fucking fool. You fucking fool. You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I've seen this movie. 108 days or hours or whatever the hell it was. It wasn't days. Commander. When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. How do you I wipe was your reaching ass? for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. Why is there life crystals in my there? My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here. Even if you have yeah, to cut off my hours. hand. I've seen that Don't movie. be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. That was like they've seen that movie. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Oh, we do. Don't worry. Chew it off then. Jesus Christ. God damn. Oh, I would, Brank. But human teeth can't bite through bone. <laughs> After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander. Do it now. All right. Don't worry, I got you. Look at this. Hey, look at these. That won't do the trick. I'm just gonna taunt him with them. Do we really have to cut this fucking man's hand off? Here we go. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What I about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! 
Here we go. Get wrecked. Brace yourself, Brink. Brace yourself. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Debbie's just I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I'll need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. We think it's gonna take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. You fools. I'd rather gather more life crystals. So what if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Yes. Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? We have the deal? Agreed. All right, all right. Xbox. <laughs> that should do it. Should that do it? Do what? <laughs> what's happening? Oh, what's Nothing happening? is happening. That's what. No, no, what's happening? There it is. Bam! Look at that. Door open. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. Yeah, Brink. You fuck. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? Yeah. Totally. I think nothing is on the other side. Nothing. What did you expect? The two fairy to come and fly <laughs> us all home? <laughs> the door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. Oh, this guy. Just go on. Fuck off. Goodbye forever. I don't care. He is definitely insane. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my sure. opinion as a sane person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, fuck him. Let's go. Sane person, me and you. Nobody's here to take the tram. What's his chicken? Oh, <laughs> Satanic Puppy. Just subscribe. Thank you, Satanic. Bring a Milby into the game. I love it. Robbins. Oh, God damn it! I don't want to talk to her. Shut up. Never mind. <laughs> I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest <laughs> idea. Do you think it might send us home? Sure. Right now, it's doing. Console, another console, strange objects. Ooh. 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 Neat. It's a row of crystalline devices. We can do some of those.
It looks like there's a part missing here. Hmm. There's a gap. Hmm. Looks like a life crystal would fit perfectly in here. Well, you know what? I just so happened to bring some. That doesn't fit here. So glad I brought extra. So we have to go walk and grab those. Okay. But this thing, I don't know what this is. 